Sir. You're not? Oh, thank goodness. I, I have a favor to beg, and I dare say I oughtn't ask it of anyone but a fellow Vermundian. This letter must reach the hands of a man called Ernesto. I've heard tell he's stationed on Volcanic Island, but the road in that direction appears to have been blocked off. It would seem another route lies to the south, only it is plagued by monsters, and I dare not brave it myself. But you seem the capable sort. A soldier, I dare say. I'm sure such beasts would pose little trouble for one of your skill. Pray aid me in this matter, sir. I should not ask such an ordeal of you if I was not sorely desperate. We need only deliver it to the intended recipient. The creature's corpse will serve us well. I look forward to seeing your marksmanship. Freshly rested as well. This battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit. Let's not let Vim go to waste. A moment. You would gather materials here, monster. We can afford to carry more. No! The Arisen has been poisoned! One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. Ah! 
Mayhap you will think this a trifle, but one master I served was quite the carefree soul, shunning armor in all its forms, a cave. Shall we proceed into the depths? We'd best be prepared to make our own light before we proceed. I am well aware of the particulars. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. There, Master! Knackers! This bow is as good as flamethrowers! You must avenge yourself of that oil, post-haste! Strike with fire's fury! It's quite a large boulder, but methinks it will budge if we combine our strength. Would anyone care to push? We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. A fine display of skill. I merely did as duty demands. Not a bad idea. We are none of us alike in vocation. That is most fortuitous. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible.
Look, Master, a chest. We must find a way to open it. Surely we can make our way over to it somehow. Your command arisen. Should it please you, Master? I have a mage skill that can make short work of our predicament. Shall I assist? Wait to find out what's inside. Pray slow your feet! You run too fast for the likes of me! Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Whenever I see so much as a gleam of treasure, I cannot help but want to claim it, however far it may be from our goal. We expect that's a common occurrence in our line of work. Methinks there are rare materials to be found here, Rats. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? What's up there? I can't make much out from here, but I have a feeling it will be worth the climb. I have a means of getting over there, Arisen. Shall I assist?
Lucky us. That's worth taking. I shall come at once, Arisen. Is rather high. It might be beyond our reach. Leave this to me, Master. I'll see us through. Shall I assist? That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. Ah, how do you like that? to proceed without light. I cannot thank you enough. Are you all right? Got a good feeling about this one.
Let me be the one to collect it. No means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Battle is best avoided here. Magics are at your disposal. We ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. Pray speak up, should you notice aught amiss.
There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Daring arisen. Has aught yonder caught your eye? Oh, I can't wait to find out what's inside. Very well, methinks. Is dark enough to warrant the use of your lantern, Master. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. I shall return. A tad too high, methinks. Can I go, Master? I'm almost sure I can make it over there. Shall I assist? Our foes are like to use the dark against us.
last. The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. There's a cave in the vicinity that you've yet to explore. I can take us there, using knowledge I gained beyond the rift. Allow me to lead the way. I should like to put my knowledge to good use. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Tis a hot goblin! Shame I've never chance to fix this bow. Are we all in the same boat? We're here, and none the worse for wear. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. Might I recommend we venture inside before bandits find us? Ogre is fixated utterly on your river. Hold it closely as long as you can. I did not disappoint. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. <sighs> the 
The night sky is a balm to the battle-weary heart. Right you are. Not its weakness, but its strength. This might be worth a read. A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. I shall wait. Got a good view of the landscape from up here. Mayhap I'll spot something of interest. Watch where you're going. You'll hurt yourself one of these days. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. Yes, Master. You're back. Have you any glimmer call for me? Look at it all. This'll last us a good while. You've my gratitude. We've got more glimmer coal. Now we can reignite the forge. Tisn't the forge what needs igniting, girl, but your fool ears. I've told you my smithing days ended when those monsters moved in. I've no use for glimmer coal anymore. I'm done, understand? I'll not hear another word about that rusted hunk of steel. If you're so keen to have it repaired, then see to it yourself. Oh, leave me be. My mattress beckons. Oh, I was certain he'd pick up his tools again if we only had more glimmer coal. My apologies for putting you to all that trouble, sir, but mayhap your efforts needn't go to waste. I could try my hand at repairing that sword for you, if you'd be agreeable. The way I see it, if old Brock is the only smith with the skill to see it done, then I'm your best hope, being as I'm his apprentice and all. Well, what say you?
I'm grateful for your trust, sir. You'll soon see your faith was well placed. Um, mayhap not soon as twere. I fear I'm a novice in the truest sense. I'll be needing some time. But I'll see it done all the same. You have my word. Mark me. This blade will be shining like a star by the time I'm finished with it. Sir Sara is apprentice to the legendary dwarven blacksmith. There's no doubt in my mind that she will succeed. I'm a master of the craft, I am. Back again. Look at me. I'm a mu- oh, Wow, this is- I'll not spur- What am I supposed to do? Can't put a- Don't look at me. Back and- What am I supposed to- To overthink it, you can change it on a whim. You've not to... Lose, and you might even make a new discovery. Pleasure doing... Boy, what's your problem? Walking about with pawns in tow, I mislike that. You from Vermont? <laughs> Bet you're as prejudiced as the rest of your lot. Well, got something you want to say, eh? Save it. You're not welcome here. Suppose you didn't know, but we don't allow Vermundian scum in this tavern. But I've got a heart of gold, me. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. All you've got to do is prove your mettle against these sods alone. That is, if you're bested, then we'll take all you've got. It's only fit. Put your back into it! Well now, quite the brawl we're having here. But I must say, these odds are rather craven. Did you leave your honor at the door? And who are you supposed to be? You a friend of this one? Nay, I'm a sellsword. Coin is my only ally. Tis not my conscience that called me here. No, no. I simply cannot stomach acts of cowardice. Is there even one among you with the grit for a proper duel? One on one. What'd be in it for us, eh? The fact that I'd refrain from breaking your jaw. Hmm. That's not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Mayhap you know not my face. How about my name then? Ragnar. Ragnar? You're him. From the Scarlet Reigns and the battle for Jeremiah? Well, tis clear you're a man best not crossed. But I trust you'll have no complaints so long as there's only one of us. Oi, bring it out! Where's that reprobate gotten off to? We'll see if you can escape me a second time. Oh, no. 
the order and I will join the fray. I... I don't believe it. You're a bloody menace, you are. Come on, you lot. We're leaving. Fine work, that was. Pray, save your thanks. I've no need of it. After all, judging by the skill with which you won that duel just now, I dare say you'd have bested those louts even if I hadn't intervened. I suppose that coward knew he was no match for you in a fair fight, so he had that beast take the beating for him. At any rate, tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again. Of course, I can't promise I'll be as amicable then. As a sellsword, tis my policy to let my employer decide friend from foe. I'm sure you understand. Till next time. One cannot help but wonder about that Sir Ragnall. Who is he, really? Hmm. Let me think on that a while. Doesn't seem like you and I are going to be sharing a drink any time. Tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope... As I've said, I'm a sells... The world's changing. Not sure how much longer I can keep the inn open. It's tough. But complaining won't do any- Always a pleasure. The world's changing. Not sure- A good sleep will ensure we- My temporary master. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Off we go then. A new day, a new perspective. <sighs> Riding in an ox cart would be a welcome reprieve. It would allow us to save our strength. Assuming we're not attacked, that is.
Back Batal is not a friendly place for pawns. Each gaze we encounter feels more unjustly vicious than the last. Take heart, for we offer... But now we can return to this location whenever we've a fairy stone to hand. Looking for a fight? Well met, sir. Pray do enjoy. It isn't easy doing what I. Fancy hiring me on? Your purse will be the lighter for it, mind you. So keen to talk with me. I go where the wind blows and the coin flows, cousin. The stronger the... Not bad. Fancy hiring. <laughs> That's it. Why question the so? This one's a heads. Why? Surely I'm not expected to re fancy hiring. Strength speaks for it. If I might be so bold as to speak my mind, had things only turned out differently at the coronation. Can't put a price on quality. Uh, what a... I'm grateful for your trust, sir. Um, mayhap not soon as twer... world's changing. Not sure how much... 
much longer I can keep. being open. It's tough, but complaint. Thing won't do it. Be good. Do come again. The world's changing. Not sure. I have no issue falling asleep. I trust we've all inspected our equipment. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. I go where the wind blows and the coin flows. <laughs> no. I go where the wind. So keep. Much appreciated. How'd they work such a pattern into the blade? Hi there, Arisen! Forgive me, but I've made nary a lick of progress toward restoring that sword of yours. The blade's make is as intricate as tis beautiful. Suppose that's why these things ne'er see battle, eh? If I only knew how to create this pattern on the steel, mayhap the rest had come easier. What are you jabbering about now? Oh, um. Uh, you're looking at the work of a blaze hammer. Tis a process scarce employed, but one befitting the prestige of a regalia sword. Honestly, girl, you're no apprentice of mine if you can't figure out aught as simple as that. Sorry, Brocker. Must have slipped my mind. But if these patterns were the work of a blaze hammer, mayhap that's what it'd take to fix the blade. If you've not heard the term, tis where you heat your hammer to extreme temperatures by dipping it in magma. Tis hardly air used since the hammers like to cool afore you can forge aught with it. Brock has explained the process to me, but I wonder if that's enough. It seems twill take a rather complex process to restore the sword, but I've no doubt that Sir Sara is up to the task. How could that whelp fail? Ah, uh, but it's what she does next.
Gamers. Assemble. <laughs>